What's up, gamers? Oh, We're okay. finally doing it. Also, look at my speedrun time. Oh look how God. close it is. It's pretty good. To That's... 69. That's... I feel like my in-game time was... Lower. I don't know. Anyway, so if you remember, this... When Aiden and I played the speedrun challenge, we said, Alright, if Aiden loses, then we'll play Metroid on the channel. And if I lose, then we'll play Undertale on the channel. Well, guess what? Hey, since I since I killed that. Flowey, since I killed Flowey in the last round, he's not here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is the murder everyone mode. This yeah. I can get behind. I support mass genocide <laughs> to everyone. It's the the hottest political take that you can have, really. Yeah, we're just the coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should have named your guy Corona. I mean, you can't rename. You'd have to do a true, true reset. So, oh, rip. Yeah. Whenever we eventually do true pacifist, we'll think of something good. Dang it. But anyway, yeah. this is, we're probably still gonna play Metroid at some point. NGL gonna lie. Mhm. Mm oh, of course we are. Hey, maybe it could even be our next series. Who knows? Our love increased. <laughs> <laughs> which one would we do? Um, I don't know. Which one do you want to do? Um, it's really up to you. I was gonna say, my personal like what my heart says is that we should do AM2R, but really not a whole lot of people know what that is, so it probably wouldn't get a lot of views. Um, I mean, we have enough really popular series that I think we could take a hit like that. AM2R is, in my opinion, objectively the best functioning 2d metroid game and it's not even made by nintendo which is the mm. best part um that's yeah, another metroid 2 remake yeah it's like it, they literally the people who made am2r did a better job on remaking metroid 2 than Met the nintendo did on remaking mm. metroid 2 it's funny how that happens isn't it but it would either be that one i know super metroid would probably get the most views but I personally somehow have never played all the way through Super Metroid before. Literally. Yeah, I've never had like a good SNES yeah. emulator, so. Um, and then Metroid Fusion is the one that I'm most comfortable with, but it's also really freaking hard, so. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah. So basically what we're going to do is we're doing the genocide route. Which means that we have to kill all the monsters in an area before we can, like, go out of the area. Or else the run, like, stops and it's a neutral run. Hmm. So, that's kind of annoying, but it's it well, it's not really that time-consuming. You actually get to use your experience points. Can you kill this guy? The, yes. You can't kill the rock, but you can kill this frogget. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So, you say kill all of the monsters... Well, the rock's not alive. This is this is well, no, the, no, no. The, the the talking one. But aren't the monsters like infinitely spawning? Like, isn't it like Pokemon? No, they they stop after a certain number. Cause then you'll enter the battle and we'll just say, but nobody came. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you still get like random encounters. It's just boring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, can <laughs> you just know this by heart? Well, I've, I've well, played yeah, this that's game what a I'm lot. Saying. It's just funny. Can you kill this rock? It's alive. I wish. I don't like this rock. You can kill this thing though. You can kill these two, two things. Boys. Two boys. They're just some frogs. Oof. Just some frog on just some boys. <laughs> Hiya! Hop hop hop. To bop bop bop. So there's. Hippity hoppity. There are only oh, two property. hard boss fights in Genocide Route. There is the Sands fight, which is. Do -do -do -do. Gonna take. I don't know. Ooh, it's, it's, it's been a while. But... That's gonna yeah. be the best part of the run. It will. And then there's also the undying, the undying part, which. Oh god, I've seen that. That one's one pretty hard. On your other series. No, that's just the undying part. Oh. It gets harder. Like it's not that bad, but it's still pretty, uh, you know, up there. Mmm. Mm. This is some good dialogue. This <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is he's a ghost, so you're not actually hurting him. We're really not feeling it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is Spencer's favorite character. That's what he said. Or it was Mad. No, it's Mad Dummy. Wow. Yeah. 
art imitates life. <laughs> and ironically, in genocide route, Mad Dummy is like the pacifist dummy or something. I don't know. This game just has a lot going on. It's a wild ride. Have you gotten your bang yet? Yeah. Oh. That's, that's right there. That's the first one. The first one? Yeah. Oh, okay. How many bangs did you get? Two. Dude, okay. I looked up how much caffeine a bang has. Is it like 300? It's 360 milligrams. Now, for those of you who don't know, you're technically considered overdosing on caffeine at like 120. Now, hmm. the effects of that aren't super high depending on what your metabolism is. But like if you have s over 700 milligrams of caffeine, you're actually going to have a heart attack. So don't drink those. Okay. Oh, well, I wasn't really planning on drinking the other one. So we should be fine. Oh, well, you guys just like buy me energy drinks. Well, I buy you. I don't think you should drink bangs. Dude, I would die if I yeah. drink a bang. <laughs> like the, the Mountain Dew Kickstarts, which have 120, get me all wired. So, but I'll just save it for next session is a thing. I mean, I'm kind of at the point where, like, I really only drink one depending on the circumstances. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Hiya. Oh, yeah, this is a good story time series. What mm -hmm. should we talk about? Um, Penny Wars? Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> kind of out of nowhere, I, like, I had a dream about Penny Wars. Oh, wow. It still haunts you? Well, it was... Like, I really don't remember what the dream was about. I just remember that it somehow involved Penny Wars, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna rant about this on YouTube, because I have nothing better to do with my life. Did I not hit- Oh, I didn't hit the switch. <laughs> wow, good job, Aiden. Yeah. Um, so, for those of you who aren't aware, which is probably most of you, uh, New Hope Christian has a thing that they do every year called Penny Wars. Now, the goal of Penny Wars is to donate as much money to the school as possible under the guise that you're winning. <laughs> I don't know. Basically, rolls of pennies you can put in your own bucket, and they give you points, and all the silver coins, or all the... And dollars are bad. Or, or dollars good. I don't remember. I think dollars were good, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But it was better to, like, put two rolls of pennies in, so I don't know. Poor accountants at New Hope. <laughs> I think that they just took it to a bank and said, hey, count this for us. Oh, they okay, I guess they probably did, but they still had to know, like... Yeah. Um, but, like, rolls of quarters were just, like, the ultimate bomb of, like, hey, you're <laughs> gonna die. And what roll of quarter is, what, like, ten bucks? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So keep in mind that people will occasionally have rolls of quarters, and the, go the goal is to get the highest amount of points, obviously. Now... What do you win upon winning the Penny Wars? Uh, a pizza party or an ice cream party, depending <laughs> on, you know, the, the moon or something. Or dress down days, I think you'd get Or dress too. down days, which those are priceless, but I could also bribe the principal to not care, so. <laughs> so, it basically convinces kids to ask their parents for money to just give to New Hope. Like, what did they actually do with the money? Did they actually, did they ever say? I don't know. Is it, it, for it, it, it probably just went to the freaking sports funds. Uh, well, so I'm thinking like, like everything. I I don't even if I remember correctly, it's not even for charity or a good cause. They're literally just like, hey, give the school money. Yeah. And <laughs> well, well, just yeah. Um. So, on, in our eighth grade year, our class kind of figured this out, and we're like, hey, if we opt out of Penny Wars this year and pay for our own pizza party with the money we would have spent. We could get basically all the pizza we want, and we aren't giving the school money for no reason. <laughs> um, could we do that? And Miss McGinnis, who was our homeroom teacher at the time, was like, yeah, okay, we'll do it. Oh, Miss McGinnis, what a legend. So it was it was really funny because we had, like, apparently designated periods that year. You would hold periods? Well, okay, Do you, did you ever have something called, like planning or something i don't remember what the frick the period was called but it was i mean like just study halls it was, it was called like eighth grade planning it was the weirdest class ever and it <laughs> like it counted as like our elective like i remember we had like robotics and art and gym and then eighth grade planning on like tuesdays or something 
And all we did is it was basically a study hall, except occasionally we talked about things if there was anything to talk about. Mm. So kind of like our conference calls, really. <laughs> um, Ooh. But yeah, we, we basically used that period, which was dedicated to, like, do things for Penny Wars, and had a pizza party. It was like, sure. Mm. Yeah, that checks out, that checks out. But anyway, I just thought it was funny looking back on it that there was literally a program where they, the school just asked us to give them money for no reason. Call I it mean, they points. did the same thing with, like, the duct tape thing. Do you remember Oh, yeah, that? the duct tape challenge and the, the pie challenge. <laughs> the pie challenge, what, yeah. I guess the challenge is to waste as much money as possible <laughs> because it's direct correlation between... But you get to torture the teachers. Is it really torturing, though? Because they... I remember, like... He has a little jiggy. He has a little <laughs> dance. <laughs> It was really cool the first time, the first few times we did the duct tape thing, because they actually duct taped the teachers. Yeah. And then one of the teachers that got designated was Mr. Dieter. Now, I don't know if you ever have him. <laughs> Mr. Dieter. He was a fat guy, so they did not have <laughs> enough duct tape for him, so they literally had to, <laughs> they had to have him stand on a chair, because there wasn't enough duct tape. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. That's good. Or the times that the pie challenge was literally just whipped cream. There wasn't even pie. Yeah, it's... Mm. It's really whatever the student council has in their budget. And this year, because last year our student council like made so much money um, from dress down days. Um, we have like a surplus, but we haven't had it. Like, we've had like two meetings and that was it. Like, our, we have a homecoming plan for March. And we're not even going to freaking do it because our <laughs> president isn't doing anything. Thanks, Braden Briggs. Real, real nice of you to. That's why put middle effort. school or I guess high school student council is inherently flawed because no one knows anything about anyone, and you get elected based on popularity and not your ability to actually do anything. Yeah, pretty much. We were just lucky because we got like the preppiest girl in our school for a class president. Who? Uh, it was a girl named Emily, and she mm. was like, she was literally just an accountant, like. She was the embodiment of an accountant, except she was like, yeah. Yeah, an accountant. They count. But I always hated the concept of paying for dress down days. If I'm going to pay anybody for not wearing clothes, it's going to be the courts, because I'm stripping. <laughs> oh, speaking of stuff like courts, <laughs> so we're not allowed to be on our phones in school. Okay. And apparently that also extends to the restrooms. But we don't care. So we call it the PZ, which stands for the phone zone. And before every class period, we go in there and just sit on our phones for like five minutes. Oh, and it's man. great. But one day, we were all just chilling on our phones. Mr. Drum decides to come into the restroom. Oh. And takes all of the people's phones that were in there. Now, luckily, I wasn't in there. Because I'm smart. And even, even if I was, I just would have put my phone away really faster. Put it right by my dong while I was peeing. So we'd be like, all right, Mr. Drum, take it. <laughs> but <laughs> You gotta grab it. You gotta grab it, yeah. It's, I'm <laughs> hiding my phone behind my magnum <laughs> dong. <laughs> it's my big T-84 calculator. Oh my god. Anyway. But anyway, so they were like, all right, frick this. So three guys from my class decided, you know what? They come into our bathroom. We're going to go into their bathroom. Oh god. So while Mr. Drum was in there just washing his hands or something, Three of my classmates went in there, they opened the door, and then he saw them and was like, and I quote, What the heck are you doing in here? And then they all got too scared to do anything else, so they just walked out. <laughs> Sorry, another sir. encounter. Didn't mean to happen. How do you just know how many things are... It'll... There we go. Okay, nice. Okay. So we have hit this one. And there it is again. <laughs> We are officially on the genocide route. Nice. Yes. See how the, there's no music now? Yeah. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, there is music. It's just kind of yeah. eerie and spooky. Woo. This is cool. Got a knife. What is it? A knife. No. <laughs> it also makes a Toriel fight go really fast because you just... You just stab her. Jeez. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> uh, top 10 life hacks. Just Make any high school go fight go really fast by <laughs> stabbing them. But yeah, this game gets pretty creepy um, because of the... You'll, you'll see once we get to the end, but it's just a little disturbing. 
Undertale falls within the my list of things of it's probably good, but I will never touch it because I know people who have. <laughs> so you found a cake. Is that how you are with my hero? Pretty much. Mm. I mean, it's not really that bad. Like, like well, that's the thing. It's a good. The it's... animation's good. The stories, I the characters are good. I I may touch my hero eventually, but I'm I definitely want to watch a few other things first. So mm. you should watch Death Note. <laughs> that's another one that's on the list, coincidentally. Mm. Um. But yeah, it's. I don't know. I've heard that my hero is really good from outside sources, so mm -hmm. maybe. It just gets more hate than it should. It's because of the fan base. It's like, oh yeah, it's is Undertale of the fan base bad? No, it's a really good game, but I just I can't bring myself to play it. Same thing with FNAF. <laughs> Same thing, kind of with Minecraft, except yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> You really, really hate me that much. Stab. Now I see who I was protecting. Wow. By keeping you here. It's kind of sad. Not you, but them. Huh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just freaking dies. Yep. <laughs> Welcome to the genocide run. Dang, this is a little more brutal Ooh. than I thought it would be. <laughs> oh, it gets better. Just wait until the papyrus fight. Or rather, just the papyrus slang. Alright, well, this is gonna be this episode. How far are we in? I don't think so. Are you sure? Well, we're at 16, I guess so. Yeah. Alright, well, That's thanks a... for watching, everybody. Yep. And, um, let's watch Aiden walk down this hall. Okay, now and... we can end it. Ha 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 ha. We'll see what happens next time. Bye! Bye!